Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Ready here, and welcome to week 5. Um, as you can tell on the gun that I have, I actually got the Touch of Malice um, yesterday with my clan. Uh, big shout out to my clan because the day before on Sunday I could not for the love of... I could not get a good LFG group to pass the King's Fall Raid and it was bugging me so thanks guys if you're watching this now let us continue week 5 season of the Seraph story also a side note I am working on this to get the catalyst um, please look forward to that video or if I already finished it I don't know how I'm gonna do this Anyway, let's continue. Welcome, Guardian. I have completed my assessment of my current functioning capabilities. I forgot we got recipe and back. Despite my newfound ability to communicate with you, key elements of my code remain incomplete. I would be unable to take command of the war sats, even if I were uploaded to the network. No submine cores remain for reintegration. Our only option is to continue collating ancillary submine data from my reconstruction algorithm. Okay. In summary, we must stay the course. Breach the vaults. Retrieve and reintegrate the submine data. Soon, the war sats will once again be humanities to wield. Well, that's nice. Uh, pause if you want to read this. Oh, he's giving us another one. Perfect. So, last week we got the part where we can bypass doors and kind of hack them in a way. So this week I'm actually going to get the traps and reduce damage taken by traps from lasers. Because, well why not? And also, there was this that I got last week, so... We'll see how it goes. Also, I didn't buy one for this week. Um, let me grab one real quick, and then we'll go to the hollow gram. Alright, I guess I'll buy the glaive. Alright, well, I bought the glaive, and there's that. Oh. I didn't grab this last week. Wake up. I have questions. An odd greeting. I was not sleeping. What does Osiris require of rescue? Ooh. You've been keeping secrets. I thought I was clear the last time we spoke. The time to choose a side has long since passed. I destroyed the Almighty and attacked the Black Fleet. My allegiance is unwavering. Then prove it. There was a city on Neptune. Near the time of the collapse, find it for me. Oh. I retain no such information, but lingering references suggest I did it at one time. That can't be oh, all. Oh. Is. Humanity's hope dangles from their frayed recollection. Tell me where to look. Anything. From which is data casts you and an old light of sight. All these years, and you're still the brash man on the mountain top. Oh. And I see you knew of any useful information. You found that haughty talk of yours. We have a shared history. I may attempt to offer guidance as your mentor did. Bellwinter's memory doesn't absolve you of his murder. Nor does it permit you to teach his lessons. I do not make that claim. Forgive me. I am finding myself again. During the Dark Age, Bellwinter would say, should we have the patience to keep it? Yes. As people get into a virus. informed of any developments. Oh. Wait, so Rasputin knew about the city. But he does not know now. Okay. Warmind speaks. Yes. His archives are incomplete, as is his memory. 
served as a figment seeded in that recollecting mind where my visions might find purchase. Okay. The pieces are scattered on the floor before me. I see them like points of starlight. They form a constellation. But my eye cannot yet draw the lines. Nephele stronghold is a term that appears multiple times throughout the submine's caches. Each time I read it, I hear it whisper in Savathun's voice. Anna recognizes the term Nephele. Is it not a good thing? Transcribed from a temporal disturbance on Mars. Recognition was all she had to offer. But Rasputin must know. Asking the right question could unlock everything. I need time to submit my inquiries to Rasputin. To find convincing proof for Ikora. Time we do not have. Well, we got about 60 Ivor days, I think. Assault on the War Mines network is no coincidence. She is far more tactician than brute. I underestimated her once. I won't be afforded another mistake. Our next move must be certain. Well, we'll see how it goes. Pause, you want to read this. Alright, let's go. Now, where to? Unlocking a Seraph chest. Alright, well, I will go do that, and I will see you guys in a bit. There was a time I would have thought to destroy all of this. A younger version of myself would have seen this installation as a threat. Youth shows us the power of action, drives us to make quick, fleeting decisions. Many are mistakes. Age teaches the benefits of temperance. There we go. Brayer, are you confident the war mind will be effective against the witness? Its last engagement. I don't know about pyramid ship, but Red can shoot down hive carriers just fine. If there's a war coming, we'll want Rasputin on our side. Of that, I have no doubts. The Reef has long been wary of such a power in the system, and its ability to strike across great distances without warning. But we no longer fear the war mind's wrath. I have seen how you have shaped it into something new, something better. I have to believe that is possible, and so I must not fear. Well, that is nice. Back to the hollow projector. Let's go. Who are we going to talk to? Also, I think I got the trace rifle. And we are back. Who are we going to talk to? Cyrus again? Or Anna? Or Elsie? Ah. Oh, I worry for Anna. She is more like Clovis than she would like to admit. Obsessed with doing what she's decided is right. A compulsion to achieve her goal no matter the cost. I've seen where that path can lead. I don't want that for her. Then talk to her. I don't want to have to stop her. If there's one constant in all the possible futures I've seen, it's fear. And I'm tired of being afraid. Afraid to live, afraid to lose, afraid to trust. And yet, I came to place my trust in you on Europa. Perhaps it's time I did the same with Anna. She deserves it. That's at least true. in that respect, she's nothing like Clovis at all. Man, that's a little touching. I'm gonna pause if you want to read this. Rasputin? Rasputin. Bestie. Oh, that's still there. Bestie. <laughs> With each cache of submine data, an increased percentage of my code is restored. I become more myself. 
Well, that's good. No, that is inaccurate. What? My sublines were left to evolve on their own trajectories. Reintegrating them has altered my own personality matrix. Close what? I see how humanity once looked to me as a savior. An entity capable of protecting them and destroying their enemies. Right. In many ways, I am a war god of their own making. Perhaps I am not unlike Zebu Roth in that regard. Yeah. The difference between us is that I do not wage war for its own sake. I safeguard those in my charge. Continue retrieving and reintegrating the submine data. I will contact you once the next phase of restoration can begin. If I am to be humanity's war god, then I will smite those who threaten it. Zivu Arath, the Rathborn, and all who follow. Well, that's the Rasputin that we know. Ooh, there is the linear. Perfect float. Gain combat for moderate time increase at airborne. Uh, I don't like that. Me no likey. Okay, so I am going to collect this later. Once I finish this video, I'm actually going to go and work on finishing the first catalyst. So let's see if there is anything else. There is nothing else. I cannot claim this week's stuff yet. Great. Any three more of those. Alright, well, that'll be week five of Season of the Seraph. Hope you guys enjoyed. We only have 55 more days. Oh, ornament. Sweet, I guess I'll grab that. Anything else? No. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Either it's going to be the first catalyst. I don't know why I'm looking at my screen like I have a camera, which I do not have a camera. First catalyst is going to be the next video. Or I finished it and I have it uploaded already. Or, what's a good way to say this? The next video will either be the first catalyst or the second catalyst. If it's the second catalyst, then that means I already did the video for the first catalyst. I hope that makes sense. Well, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Well, actually... Let's leave on the note of this audio. So I'll see you guys Think later. Of each Vex hobgoblin like a starship. The crew works together to pilot it, but it doesn't mean the crew all share one mind. Or the same ideal. This aligns with observations I've made in the Infinite Forest, where aberrant Vex were quarantined and destroyed. Aberrant in that they moved against a consensus. Aberrant in ideology. The Vex may seem unified, but they're divided into a number of factions. Just like us. Tell me, as someone who has traveled time in a circle, are our divisions so clear in every cycle of history? No. Nothing is ever clear, no matter how many times history repeats itself. Choice is always the knife we fall on. Our own choices, each and every time, seem to be what dooms us. Always? Not always, but too often. We fracture, we fail, and the wheel turns again. We, constrained to linear time, do not have the ability to learn from our future mistakes. You, however... Not to put the burden of all this on you, but it feels as though the Traveler has a plan for you. You just can't see it yet. It could make the plan a little clearer. Do you feel you've learned enough? They gave me a little chuckle. over your journey to prevent our end? Or will we be having this conversation again someday? I don't know. We've never had this conversation before, so... 
I suppose there's a first time for everything. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys in the next video. See ya.